Hello and welcome to MACA 1321201. Um, this is uh, your online Photoshop class. It's an introduction to Photoshop. Um, it's meant to be um, basically taking anyone who may have had, you know, maybe a year of Photoshop or no experience at all um, and getting their feet wet uh, with the software. Um, even people who have been in the industry, you know, 10, 15 years, um, you know, you know very little about Photoshop unless you are one who is constantly playing uh, with a bunch of different tools. So the point of the class is to give you a very broad overview of all the different kind of areas in Photoshop. Um, eventually you'll hit it where you're focused on just a couple things here and there, um, but we want to make sure that everyone knows the capabilities of it and what is possible. So um, if you're watching this video, uh, I'm assuming that you've um, at least got to the point where you can see the video. Uh, but I what I want to do is go through the first day handout, go through how Canvas works, um, and just give you just a, a, a semi-quick um, uh, walkthrough of it, okay? So first things first, when you're in Canvas, here is our class. Um, I'm going to do student view so I can see this, just like you would, just so it's not confusing. So ignore the pink, this is just me in the same view as you're in. So, uh, under the home section, <clears throat> this is where you would see, I just jumped you right here because there's nothing in home. Um, here is our first day handout. Okay, so we'll look at that in a second. Um, and then here are all the assignments and things and when um, items are due. So it's a good um, place to go. Also, the calendar has stuff listed. So today is, um, I'm recording this on the 20th of August. Um, your first thing that's going to be due is on Wednesday, August 24th, which is just the introduction, uh, introductory discussion forum. Um, which we'll see in a second. We also have our first assignment that will be due on Sunday by 11.59. And then our basically each Sunday something will be due. Okay. And the class is only 12 weeks long, so it's an accelerated Photoshop class, uh, which means we're going to move pretty quick. Um, so make sure you have plenty of time to do that kind of stuff. All right. You can also go to the assignment section, and it'll just show you the individual assignments uh, broken down. So here's 1.3, 1.1, 1 1.2, you know, each individual assignment. Um, and eventually what um, you could come in here for is it would show you your points. You got one point, three points, one point, whatever. Um, most of the time you're going to spend your time in modules. That's where most of the stuff is going to be located inside here. Now, um, there is a bunch of links. This general course information one is exactly that general course information it's just a bunch of stuff that that you're going to find helpful um this is uh make us student portfolio links so in the maca department um your goal at the end of it at the end of the line is to eventually get a portfolio and here are um the vimeo page and these are all people who are um, past or present maca students um, who have por put their reels up on here. Um, so here is Amy, and she has 18 videos. She's following 237 people. She has 1,000 likes. This is her demo reel of stuff that she's created while in the department. And some of this is Photoshop. Some of this is Illustrator. Some of this is 3D. Some of this is After Effects. Some of this is flash. Some of this is, you know, just a mix of things. Um, as a student, your goal is to basically absorb as much stuff as you can and see what tool is going to be the best tool for the job. So um, definitely check these out because you can really see a lot of uh, student work and kind of see where the end game is. Here's some examples of advanced Photoshop work. adorable so this is from the advanced Photoshop class <clears throat> so in that class they're drawing vehicles you can see in this case they drew the vehicle plus they drew all these cutaways and products so these are people who have taken the intro class and then their next class is advanced Photoshop so this is eventually where you would be able to get to is to that kind of level okay so that's where that 
is going to come in. Back to modules. Um, here's um, Sorial Illustration, the professional link. This is one of our other instructors. Uh, his name is Brian Sorial. He has tutorials uh, for Photoshop, Illustrator, and After Effects. So um, at any point where you're like, you know, I want to see what other people are doing inside of Photoshop, here are some of those advanced Photoshop tutorials. Um, here are some Illustrator tutorials. So you may have the Illustrator class too, and there's, you know, that. And here's some After Effects tutorials. So lots of information on here. Um, some of the things you'll need for the class are these hotkeys. So here is the um, hotkey list for Adobe CC, Photoshop CC. This is the complete list. You can definitely check that out and, and see. Um, it is separated by Mac and Windows. So if you're using a Mac or you're using Windows, then um, you'll be covered. Um, these ones here are the ones that have been narrowed down to the ones that are basically like the absolutely necessary ones. Um, these are the ones that we've kind of honed in on. This is the ones you're going to need for the class. Then there's some other things here you may need, like CG textures. Uh, really awesome website for just getting images. Um, DeviantArt, you can post artwork up here. You can view artwork, um, the post jobs and different things. Um, and again, really um, neat stuff. And then this is You Suck at Photoshop. <laughs> and these are just really quick. Um, eight minutes, six minutes long uh, tutorials on Photoshop. Okay, just some amendments, all right. And then there's also questions and clarification. If you need uh, to ask a question, um, it's always best to do it here first because here um, you're able to see um, other people's responses. So if you were like, you know, what's that hotkey you keep using? Someone may already know the answer, um, or you know, several people don't know the answer, and we can post it in one spot for everyone. All right, so we're under the generic week one. So right now we're watching the welcome week one link. That's what this is. Um, after you're done with this, you can watch the Dropbox setup. So I'll show you how to set up your Dropbox. Um, and we also have the week by week schedule, which we'll get into, and then some other stuff, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is go through the first day handout. So if you go to your home, which takes you to syllabus, which gets you to that, um, here's our first day handout. So the first thing that we're gonna look at is, these are just some inspirational quotes um, about education, about learning. Um, and I collected these and just threw them on here because um, it's important for you to understand that it's not, it's not magic that makes you learn stuff. It's not, you know, some something where it's just like people are either good at Photoshop or they're not good at Photoshop. Everyone, gets to Photoshop or gets to where they need to get to from a certain point. Um, for instance, here's Michael Jordan. He's on here. It says, I can accept fi I can accept failure. Everyone fails at something, but I cannot accept not trying. So um, Michael Jordan was actually cut from his basketball team, like in junior high or something, and they told him that he was never going to be able to play basketball. Obviously, that is not true. <laughs> um, doo -doo -doo. There's another one that was really good. Uh, I mean, they're all really good. Failure is not failure unless you don't learn from it. Uh, you don't learn to walk by following rules. You learn by doing and by falling over. Um, this is me. Like, of all of these, this one is me right here because I constantly am trying new things and constantly falling over. And you eventually learn from what not to do and what to do and what works and what doesn't work. And it's awesome. So this will come into play um, in the discussion forum in a, uh, when we get to that in a minute. Uh, but definitely read through all of these. Uh, then there's a blank page. And then here's our first day, uh, or our first info about the class. So my name is Sean Sarcona. There it is. Here's my email address. Here is my Skype account. Here is my office phone number and my office hours if you need me. Um, this class is virtual and the new week starts on Monday. So what that means is every Monday will be new content um, or the next week will open up. Um, I like to keep everything kind of open anyway, but some of the stuff I'm, I'm kind of re-recording as I go um, just so that everything stays fresh and current with the latest version of Photoshop. So if the stuff isn't up there, it will be up there definitely by Monday, um, by Monday morning. 
okay? Uh, if you need to get a hold of me, uh, don't call me. Um, you can try Skyping me or you can just email me. An email is the best way to get a hold of me because I constantly check my email. I'm apparently emailing myself right now. Um, you can also come into my office hours if you need extra help or you're just stuck on stuff. Because this class is a virtual class, we never actually see eye to eye. Uh, meaning that we never are in a classroom, okay? So we're doing this all through the internet. You work on stuff at your house, you send me stuff, and then I grade it. And we never actually even need to see each other's faces. Um, but if you need to see me, that's where my office hours are and my office location. And I am at South Campus, not Center. Um, so for the class, what you're going to need, you'll need a writing utensil and note-taking paper. Always take notes. Um, I don't care what you're doing, you should always be taking notes on everything that you're doing because it not only helps you, um, you know, remember it for later on, but it actually locks it into your brain better when you're actually interacting with the media. Um, the class is based on videos, so there's a lot of tutorial videos that I'm going to be giving you, and I recommend first watch the video, take notes, so you know what to expect. You know that if I say do this this and this you kind of have an idea so that it, when you follow along with it you know what is going to go on okay um, external hard drive 50 gigs or more uh, for this you could use your own computer hard drive um, i just like to keep things separated okay so 50 gigs or more is plenty of storage um, you can probably get by by like 10 gigs um, but you know if you can get an external drive get a good get a good one uh, a pair of headphones. You don't want to be waking people up at all hours of the night. Um, sometimes people work on these lectures and these assignments at 3 in the morning. And I don't think your parents or um, live-in roommates want to hear my voice at 3 in the morning. So uh, get a good pair of headphones. Uh, you'll need at least 10 to 20 or more hours per week. Okay. Um, these assignments are not built for any one specific kind of person. They're built to train you to get ready for that advanced Photoshop class. They're trained to get you ready for everything else. So you may need 10 hours if you have some experience in Photoshop already. You may need 20 hours if you're kind of iffy. You may need 30 or 40 hours uh, per week if you're really, really, really struggling with it, okay? Uh, we also have labs at the college too, so if you needed to, you can come into a lab. Um, and work with a lab aide who can also help you on your assignments. Um, not do them for you, but if you get stuck on something and you just want to come to lab and work and you know have someone there, um, you can do that as well. Um, for the book, there's no book required for the class, uh, but I do recommend you get basically any Photoshop book. You can even go to the library and grab uh, a book for Photoshop because they, they are great. Um, I learn from reading and from watching video. That's like my two big things. And then I get into Photoshop and play around and mess around and, you know, do that. Uh, but I like to always have a book with me so that I could look things up. Um, even, like, Half.com, you can find some used books really cheap. Like, we found uh, $2 books one time. It was pretty sweet. Uh, a Pluralsight account. So Pluralsight is a uh, resource that I recommend anyone in our industry get. Um, there it is. And so what this does is it basically um, helps you with other areas. So um, let's say you're using Photoshop and you're like, ooh, I like what we're doing here, but I want to learn more. We're not really getting into too much depth in this one specific area that I think would be important to me. Um, or I really want to delve into this specific tool a little bit further. So this has that, okay? Uh, for Photoshop, if I went to courses here, um, you can see and there's a load more and there's a load more okay and these are like five hour videos three hour videos three hour videos three two two loads of videos six hours for this one um, and they're just neat this one is creating artistic playing cards in Photoshop okay and it shows you how to use Photoshop um, to create these cards which is pretty cool um, so I recommend you get that. Um, you don't need it for the class. You can definitely get by without it. Um, but I definitely recommend getting it. If you buy it at the bookstore, the bookstore, if you buy it at the bookstore, um, it's only $100 and that's a whole year's worth of tutorials. 
and you could literally sit there from the time you buy it to the years over and still not watch everything that they have available there. It's super duper awesome. Now one thing you will need is Adobe Photoshop CC. Okay, so for this class you obviously need the software so you can work on the stuff. Um, Adobe Student Discount. So Adobe has a student discount program. Now if you're still not sure about whether you're going to stay in the class or what's going to go on, I recommend downloading first the 30-day trial. You can go to Adobe's website and say, um, I want to try Photoshop. Come on. Um, for 30 days. <clears throat> and then once you've tried it for 30 days and you're like, okay, this is it, I'm going to stay in the class, then you can go here and you can buy the software. And the software is 20 bucks a month um, for everything. Okay, so if you want every app, um, that Photoshop mate or that Adobe makes is 20 bucks a month. And I don't think it's like every single one, but it's all the ones that MACA uses. Um, if you just want Photoshop, you can get 9.99. Okay, you know, extra 10 bucks a month, you get the full thing. Um, or you can prepay for 240. It's the same price. I don't know why that even matters. Uh, see all plans. So 20 bucks. 12 months, 240 bucks, so that's not bad. Um, it does require that you uh, put your institution affiliation in there, um, so definitely make sure you have that. Uh, basically your schedule or something, that's all you need. Um, so yeah, so you'll need that, so make sure you get that. Okay, don't be Photoshop CC. And then Dropbox account. Um, in the another video that I showed on Canvas, under the modules, under the uh, generic week one, there's a Dropbox setup video. In that video, I show you how to use this link to set up your Dropbox account, where you'll also set up your folder structure. for how your stuff is going to get turned in, okay? So, muy importante, make sure you turn that in. I think that was French. I'm just kidding, I know it was Spanish. Um, da, da, da. There you go. I even put it right there. You can obtain discounted software, limited trials, blah, blah, blah. All right, so this class is an introduction to Photoshop, um, the premier raster-based image creation and manipulation program. Topics include file formats, scanning, resolution, tools, theories of image creation and manipulation. Uh, by the end of the class, you should be able to use multiple file formats, manipulate images, demonstrate introductory knowledge of the technology you are using, create manipulate basic selections, save and modify, apply effects, clean up images. Uh, Photoshop is kind of the staple program for graphics. Like everyone who's in graphics knows Photoshop. You may not know everything that you can do, but you know how to get in there and how to make a mess of things and make things work. Um, this is an example of where you're going to take your skills. So like this assignment here, we're uh, modifying it for this year. Um, this Nintendo was actually um, a separate element. This controller was a separate element. Each one of these buttons and the logo and these things were separate elements. And this was actually pretty dirty. We had to clean it up and organize it and you know do a bunch of stuff. Um, to get this to look the way it is. So we added the shadow, we added the reflection, we added even the cord is added in, um, and all the text and stuff. This is completely drawn from scratch. Like, no images were started here. It's just completely drawn from scratch. This is drawn from scratch. And then this is using images and compositing them together. And then this is using images of different animals and compositing these together. Okay. Um, here's another good example. There's that guy's apple again. It's really good. Um, here's another good example. So this is um, one of our past students. This is a movie poster assignment, uh, but it's like a photo collage, which is what we're going to be doing. And if you look at uh, Black Widow here, you can see that she's not one image. She's actually composed of several different images put together. Okay, so by the time you're done with this class, you'll understand how all of this stuff works, and you'll understand how to make 
um, really cool illustrations in Photoshop or photo collages or whatever's okay so um, here's our assignment list and here's all the point breakdown so these are not percentages these are actual points so out of a hundred points for the class uh, web page assets is three photography is six image manipulation is eight 3d texture creation is six it goes down the list until we get to 90 points okay and then um, discussion boards are 10 points extra credit is two points and then a total of 102 points okay so we'll get further into this in a smidge uh, here's your keys to success showing up to class each time obviously this is virtual so just making sure that you have the time to it to do it <clears throat> pay attention take notes understand what's required work during the class do homework meet deadlines ask questions push your skills keys to failure missing class or not doing any class work socialize during class making excuses why work isn't done guessing what is required not taking notes um, guessing what is required that's like a huge one because people usually just like assume they know what's what to do they do something and then it turns out to be completely wrong because they didn't ask questions which is that one you know they didn't meet the deadlines didn't do their work okay um, I'm not gonna read through each one of these um, you can go ahead and read through each one of those things there but you're required to comply with each one of these okay so make sure you understand all of the stuff that's inside this it definitely is a lot um, the biggest things here is um, you know just be aware like be aware of what's due be aware of what you need to do be aware of where videos are and how to turn things in and what's required um, ask questions if you need them <clears throat> meet the due dates you know the whole jazz um, so this is our week by week schedule which is in here which is a pretty handy thing uh, here's the start of the week right here. Here's our assignment this week web page assets So first thing is our week one schedule and week layouts um, This is our week by week schedule. We also have a Week by week schedule and so this week by week schedule, which is also under the modules uh, Week by week schedule right here um, This goes through just welcomes you to the class um, it Is your job to get these things done with in an efficient and visually pleasing manner first time in this course uh, the first time this course has been run online um, that part actually isn't true we've run this online several semesters um, but regardless you're gonna have bumps you're gonna have things that are gonna happen your computer may crash your hard drive may die you know things happen you just have to be prepared for all that stuff um, to-do list so read through the first day handout that's what you should be doing okay it's in canvas there it is uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can ask them in the Q&A discussion forum. You can definitely email me if I don't respond in a timely fashion in the Q&A discussion forum. Um, but usually I get those things right out, right away. Uh, watch the introductory video. Hey, that's what you're doing now. Uh, introduce yourself in the discussion forum. Okay, so let's just jump to that real quick just so you can see what that is. So in the modules in our generic week one, uh, we have our introductory discussion forum. So we click on that. And it says here, introduce yourself. You don't need to go into expansive background. I don't need to know what your shoe size is. I just need to know just some basics, you know, why you're taking the class, um, who you are, um, thoughts about Photoshop <clears throat> initially. And then what I want you to do is I want you to choose one of those quotes from the first day handout that we showed. All those quotes at the beginning of... Come on, baby. At the beginning of this thing, okay? Pick one that speaks to you. And then just jot it down in the discussion forum and then tell us why it speaks to you, okay? Um, or maybe you have a, even a better one, you know, that applies to, to the class, right? Okay, so you'll, you'll post a reply here by hitting the reply button and then posting that. And then when someone else posts something, then you will reply to their post also. So every time you post to do a f discussion board, um, you will post something yourself and you reply to someone else's okay um, there we go so make sure you uh, also positively comment on at least one other person's introduction so if and it's not just like cool I like that too you know uh, five sentences is like a minimum for anything that you're gonna write in a forum okay um, you want to make sure that you have plenty of 
stuff to say that is worth anyone reading, all right? Uh, so write that down if you need to. You got your note paper, write down, make sure every post is at least five complete sentences, not five um, half sentences with words smashed together and whatever else in text speak. Do the any required reading or viewing from the weekly course outline. So uh, this thing, come on baby. Okay, this is like your Bible of what to follow, okay? As far as like, here's the class material, bum, 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 here's what's due, da, 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 okay? Um, this'll have the stuff too, it's just, it's a lot more wordy than just these little blurbs, okay? Um, so, week one schedule in the week layout, that's what we were just looking at here. Um, here is a little, um, creating a clean modern website design in Photoshop. So this is just a, um, uh, a link that I found. It's a good thing just to kind of go through this and see how someone else is going to do this. Um, you know, kind of get an idea of it beforehand, but then you can also come back and look at it after the assignment also, which is really um, handy to see what else can be done. Okay. We have a playing one module. So inside of our canvas under the modules, under generic week one, we have our week one playing video right here. So you'll watch that. And that's going to get you just, you know, after you've installed Photoshop, um, that'll get you into the Photoshop and just understanding some of the basics of it because the, um, oh, I hate this interface. I just hate this little screen that pops up now. It'll get you understanding some of the basics of what some of the things are they're going to come across every week. Okay, so you'll watch that video, and then what else does it say here? Um, and then you'll watch the web page assets um, video. So go back to the course modules, go down to web page assets, and then you'll watch this video. Okay, so so far, you, what you've done on week one is you've read through the first day handout, you've commented in the discussion board, um, you're watching this video, obviously, you've set up your Dropbox, you've played, and then you're going to watch the web page, oops, web page assets video right here. And that's going to walk you through creating our first assignment, okay? And then here's the due dates. So this is going to be turned in by Sunday of this week, okay? Sunday of that week. And then the introductory discussion forum will be turned in by Wednesday. So obviously you only have a couple days to do that, but it should be the easiest thing you do. And then for week two, here's all the stuff that will go on in week two. So we have our week two schedule in the layout, so we can switch back to here go to the second page, <clears throat> here's week two, any required reading or viewing from the first day handout, watch the photo retouch video, upload your final um, PSD, do the summary, submit your weekly drawings, which I'll get to in a second, um, and this, okay? So here's another link, and this goes through again, um, portrait retouching, what's that? Okay, so these are all portrait retouching uh, links that are appropriate for the upcoming assignment. Whatever the uh, required reading or viewing is, this class material, it relates to the assignment. It, it Whatever we're doing here relates to it, okay? I may add more stuff into it. I may, you know, say, hey, I added another video for photo retouch, or I added another video for image manipulation, you know, or whatever. Um, so just be aware that they're, um, these things may change, but for the most part, they're not going to. Okay, so you'll see that for week two, we have another assignment due. Week three, we have another assignment due. Uh, week four, another assignment due. Some of these assignments may take you uh, five or six hours or eight hours to do just the assignment itself. Um, some of these may take just two hours to do. It all depends on your own skill level and all depends on uh, where you are that week. Eventually, we'll get to the point where we're taking our assignments and they're spanning over a couple weeks. So this one is actually going to be due week six. This is week five. So here's week six. Um, that's when the caricature one is due. But at the same time, we're turning in the caricature, caricature one. We're also starting the organic drawing one that week. So this one is like a week and a half assignment. Same thing here with the organic drawing. That one's a week and a half assignment. The hard surface drawing is a two-week assignment. And then while we're working on the hard surface drawing, we'll also be starting our photo collage. That'll take us a couple weeks. Now the classes, again, it's only 12 weeks, so it's going to fly by, it really is. And you just gotta stay on top of it. 
Uh, too many people get like halfway through the semester and don't turn in their work and then they just, you know, wasted their time and failed the class. Um, don't be like that, okay? So read through this, make sure you understand everything. Um, you know, I should have to say this, but, you know, don't cheat on your stuff. Even having someone else do your work for you, hey, that's cheating. Um, your work is your work. When you turn something in, when, when Paul turned in this, this is all his work. And Paul's proud of his work because he turned in his work and did every single bit of it. You don't want to be the guy who someone else is, you know, you show something like this, you're like, well, I did this yellow part. I didn't do these drops or the apple or the stem. I, actually, I just added the text. Everyone else did something else, you know. It's, you want your work to be your work, and you should be proud and take ownership of your work and not let anyone um, touch your work, you know. Anytime I had some instructor come over um, and help me, I always had them draw on a separate piece of paper or in a different file or whatever. Um, that way I knew that whatever was mine was mine. Okay, whatever I turned in, that's my work. All right, so now let me jump back real quick to these um, daily, weekly drawings, all right? So part of becoming a, um, or working in Photoshop is eventually you'll get to the part where we're drawing, like the Apple, like the iPhone. You'll be drawing stuff inside Photoshop. Um, if you stay in the MACA department, eventually you should have some pretty decent drawing skills. And the only way you're going to get those pretty decent drawing skills is by practicing drawing. So one of your assignments, and you get, this is 10 points, okay? So if you don't do this, you don't, the highest grade you can get is like a 92 if you do the extra credit. Um, so I want you to draw at least 15 minutes each day. Now you could do that inside of Photoshop, okay? So just not starting the first week, you don't have to do it the second week you do. So inside of Photoshop, I can make a new document. And this will make more sense once you've kind of gone through some of the other stuff. And I'll just make it 6 inches by 6 inches by 300. I'll grab a brush and I'll just maybe practice drawing circles. Okay. Now I'm doing this with a mouse. Um, eventually, you know, as you're... you're skills progress you don't want to be using a mouse for your Photoshop drawing what you want to be using is a tablet <clears throat> and I'm just gonna jump over real quick to the internet and this is what eventually you want to um, find now this is an expensive one this is $300 Wacom Intuos um, pen but they make smaller ones you know this one is um, $55 you can get sometimes you can even get um, like eBay or uh, Amazon, sometimes they'll have really good deals. Um, so you want to get some sort of tablet eventually and use that to draw because it's more intuitive as to how you draw. And for some assignments, I'm not going to use my mouse at all. I'm going to use my um, my tablet for it because look at the, I'm drawing a circle and look at how horrible it looks. There's a couple in here that are you know pretty close to looking round, but not for the most part. Okay, and I'm using something worse than a mouse. For drawing, I'm using a um, uh, it's not a mouse trackball, okay, which is basically a ball on the side. This is actually my exact one, a uh, ball on the side, and you move your thumb around here to move the mouse, and it's better for your um, for your uh, uh, ailments, um, your wrist and your forearm, and um, different things that can pop up, um, but it's not really good for drawing. Tablets are the best thing for drawing. And if you actually got extra money laying around, you can give it to me. Um, but you could also get one of these. This is a creative pen and touch display where your screen is actually displayed on your tablet and you can use the pen to draw. And what's neat about it too, why is my screen dark like this? Um, there we go. What's neat about it too is that the pen has pressure so as you push harder, it draws different. You know, it may change the opacity, it may change the flow, it may change the scattering, uh, but it's pretty sweet. Um, obviously, a grand is a lot of money to spend on that. <clears throat> but like I said, if you got extra money laying around, it would be uh, definitely worth it. Okay, but the more you do this kind of stuff, the better you're going to be. So um, I'm just drawing different shapes right now, just getting used to it. So I want you to draw 15 minutes a day. Now, like I said, you could do this in Photoshop. Um, you could also do it in a sketchbook for 15 minutes a day. 
um, and then just take a picture of it with your smartphone and then upload it okay and so you can put it into into and again this will make more sense once you actually set up your Dropbox account But in your folder that says weekly drawings, I'll just save this to that. Pretend I worked on that for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna just put this in my weekly drawings. Today is uh, August 20th. Okay, so then I can go into my folder where I've done my work. So there's my weekly drawing for August 20th, okay? And then what should happen is that by the end of the week, I have um, seven different drawings inside here, okay? And so every week I'm gonna check, um, I don't do it on a daily basis, but on a weekly basis I'll check and make sure that you have all of your drawings inside there. If you drew them outside, you took a picture with your phone or you scanned it in, and then you sent it to your email or however you got to it, um, then you'd be able to see those there also. Now on I'm gonna put it here. Uh, weekly drawings on the assignments. On the weekly drawing, which is down here, um, there is a challenge word. Okay, so for each one of these, and you can copy and paste this if it makes it easier, just to you know have it on your desktop or whatever, um, is a challenge word. So September 3rd, the challenge word is vegetable. So I'm gonna close this document, make a new one. Pretending it's September 3rd, because the challenge word is vegetable, I'm gonna spend 15 minutes drawing something that I'm gonna use as uh, with the keyword of vegetable. So maybe I just draw kind of like a uh, cornucopia type thing, right? And again, I'm using my trackball right now because all my USB ports are being taken. Uh, so there we go. That's corn, right? Maybe I change my brush. Wonderful. And I draw something else next to this and something else next to this. Okay. And so basically you're going to draw 15 minutes each day. This is my vegetable one. It looks horrible. I don't care. And then I would put September 3rd vegetable. And then make sure that that also gets uploaded to that, okay? So by the end of the semester, uh, we should have um, a good number of, of drawings that are inside there, and what should happen is progressively, every week, we're getting better and better at drawing. And so by the time we hit um, some of these further assignments, like the organic drawing and the product drawing and the photo collage, your drawing skills are pretty good, um, and not maybe maybe they're not uh, you know Da Vinci good, but they're good enough for what we are going to need. Okay, so make sure you're doing uh, 15 minutes of drawing each day, and then um, doing that challenge word on it's a Saturday. On that Saturday, you're doing that challenge word, and uploading this stuff every week. So every week you should be uploading seven drawings um, for me to grade and turn in. Okay. And then this other stuff we'll get to eventually, all right? Now, for late assignments, okay? If any of these assignments are late, you get a one point per day late. So for our web page assets, which is due on Sunday, the 28th, if you did not turn in your web page assets on the 28th, but turned it in on the 29th, well, the highest you can get then is two points because you were late. And if you turn it in four days late, well, then you don't get any points on it, but you still have to turn it in. Every assignment still has to be turned in because every assignment builds on the other assignments. Even this assignment here, this is something we're gonna use when we get all the way down there, okay? We're gonna use this as we go throughout this entire class, okay? And we're gonna be using these when we get to the end also. So we need every single one of these assignments to be done satisfactorily um, in order for this whole thing to work. Cool, cool. All right, so um, 
There's discussion boards, so you can definitely jump right to the discussion boards if you need to. That's no big deal. Um, grades, definitely we want to check out grades and see what our grades are. So if you go there, it'll show you here are your grades for each thing. Um, it usually takes me a couple days to grade everyone's stuff because I download them all. Um, I look at each one and then I go through and grade them accordingly. Okay. Um, and then you can also chat with people in the class. I think you can email people too. <clears throat> I don't usually use those kinds of things. You can print your grades, I guess. Okay, so that's the gist of the class. Number one thing, um, you know, this is a handy thing if you need more information about, you know, what do I need to do for week one? Okay, read through the first day handout. I did that. Watch the introductory video. I'll do doing that right now. Uh, introduce yourself. Okay, let me go do that real quick. Okay, a little checklist as you go. Create a Dropbox account. Watch the creating web page video and do the video. Um, I recommend again you watch the videos first, take notes, then attempt to do it. Um, especially because again you kind of know what to expect. Um, if you do stop the video halfway through, then write down where you stopped and where you left off so you know where to get back to. Okay, and then upload your account to your Dropbox and then write your discussion forum and that's it for week one. Eight little steps. <laughs> okay. Now, don't go too hard on yourself as far as, you know, I'm not getting everything right away. You're not gonna get everything right away, okay? It'll come to you. As long as you're maintaining at least 80% of what uh, I'm dishing out, uh, we should be good, all right? All right, so any questions, um, obviously let me know, put them in the post, um, whatever, all right? Cool beans, cool beans. <laughs>